Okay, fair, this is for you. We are going to solve this differential equation. And when I first saw this differential equation, I see that we have the y over x inside of the sine square, right? And because of that, we cannot really break this apart. But it's okay, we can just deal with this. Now, because I really have to focus on y over x, let's try to write the right-hand side as a function in terms of y over x. And this is actually achievable thanks to this x right in front of the dy dx. So to make that happen, let's divide everything by x. And you see right away, this and that cancel. Likewise, this and that cancel. And we just have the dy dx right here. And that's equal to, this is now y over x. And then that's minus. The x's cancel each other already, right? So here we have just the sine square. And the input is y over x here. And you see that. On the right hand side, both of these right here are just y of x. So you can just look at that as a new input. And because of that, this goes out for substitution. And you know, this is usually the deal. And I will just write this down for you guys. Let's say that you can pick any letter that you would like. Let me put down u. And just let u being a new variable, new function actually. In this case, let's pick this to be y over x. And then to continue, what we do is we'll just try to write everything in terms of u and x only. So no more y. And you'll see. Now, to make that happen, let's multiply both sides by x. So we will have y equal to u times x, right? And then I also have to get dy dx in terms of du dx. And I can just look at this right here and differentiate. So I will just have dy dx. We'll differentiate this with respect to x. And because x is a function of x, likewise, y was also a function of x. u is equal to y over x, so u is also a function of x, right? Here is the product of two functions in terms of x, right? We have to use the product rule. Now, I will keep the first function as how it is. Multiply by the derivative of the second, which is 1, and then we add it with the second function, which is x, times the derivative of the first, derivative of u, because u is a function of x, that will be du dx, okay? And I will replace this right here for the dy dx. So right here, we'll just have u plus x times du dx like this. And that's equal to, on the right-hand side, y over x is just the u, and then minus sine squared, and then the y over x is once again the u, like that. OK, what happens? You see that this is nice enough that this u and that u cancel each other out if you just subtract u on both sides. And in fact, this is now separable. And let me just write this down better right here. This is x times du dx. And this is equal to negative sine square u, like this. Well, I want to collect all the u's together with du, all the x together with dx. And this is what I will suggest you guys to do. Let's multiply both sides by dx. So here is the dx, OK? And I'll keep the du right here on the left-hand side. And because this term has the u, let me just divide both sides by this whole thing. And you can leave the negative here or not, up to you, but it's actually easier if you divide the negative as well in this case. So let me bring this to the other side. It becomes 1 over negative sine square u, like that. And now, here is the x. It has to be on the right-hand side. And we are going to just divide it by x. So that's going to be 1 over x. And you see, this now we can totally integrate it. Likewise, this right here, we can also integrate it. But before I do that, how can we integrate 1 over negative sine square u? Well, we know 1 over sine is cosecant. 1 over sine squared is just cosecant squared. And that's negative. So let me rewrite that first. Negative cosecant squared u du is equal to that 1 over x dx. And we can now just integrate both sides. How can we integrate the left-hand side? In this case, we can just ask ourselves, the derivative of what function will give us negative cosecant squared u? And the answer to that is cotangent u. So the whole thing right here is just nicely equal to cotangent u. 
Once again, the derivative of cotangent is exactly negative cosecant. And of course, you just maintain the same input. And you don't have to worry about the plus e, just put that down on the right-hand side. This now is equal to the integral of 1 over x is, of course, natural log absolute value of x. And then here, we put down the plus c like that. Are we done? Kind of. Not really, though, because what exactly is the u? u is y over x. So that's the last touch, OK? That's the final touch right here. So look at the u right here. I just have to put this back. So here we have cotangent y over x. And this is equal to ln absolute value of x plus c. Are we done? Yes, if you are OK with implicit solution, meaning you don't want to get the y by itself. So you can box this. This is actually legitimate, in your opinion. But it's actually not bad to get y by itself in this case. So we'll also do that as well. To get y by itself, let's just apply the inverse cotangent on both sides. On both sides. So the left-hand side is nicely equal to y over x. But the right-hand side, be sure you put both of them inside of the inverse cotangent, the arc cotangent. That's already done with a negative one notation like this. Okay. Open a big parenthesis and then put down the ln absolute value of x and also the plus c inside of the inverse cotangent like that. And because we want to get dy by itself, so of course we can just multiply both sides by x. So finally, y is equal to x times cotangent, but that's the inverse version, inverse cotangent of this ln absolute value of x plus c. A small common mistake is that people will have the plus c on the outside, but no. Because we're applying the inverse cotangent on both sides, the entire right-hand side, the c is inside of the inverse cotangent. So here, you have it. This is the explicit solution when you have the y by itself. And of course, if you have an initial condition, you can also now plug in, and then you can solve for c from there. But anyway, hopefully you like this video.